Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you are new to this channel, please remember to subscribe and smash that like button and press that notification button. And this time is Manchester United 1, FC Copenhagen 0, Manchester United are through to the Europa semi-finals and yes, Yes, another penalty by Bruno Fernandes. Yes, we are through by another penalty by Bruno Fernandes. Yes, the Portuguese Magnifico has come to save us and rescue us to go into the semi-finals and we wait to see who we will play in the semi-finals. Yes, guys, today was a tricky, tricky, tricky match. A bit frustrating at times, but we finally made it through. The boys pulled it through. Yes, we are through despite the dis. Negative news has come out today regarding Jaden Sancho. But well, despite that, we are through. And yes, we can be happy about it. We go through to the next round. We start for the first 20 minutes. The first 20 minutes, we gave the ball away. Plenty of defensive errors. Um, Bay made a mistake. Fred made a mistake. Maguire was making a mistake. Juan Bissaka made a few mistakes as well. But from there, we kicked off during the latter stage of the first half. Then that's when I started seeing the boys. Try creating a couple of chances. Many chances was missed. Plenty of chances was created. And then finally, finally, we break the deadlock. But unfortunately, it's a it's a disallowed goal, which was an offside goal by Mason Greenwood. Guys, guys, fantastic finish by Mason Greenwood. If only that was given, but that would have been a magnificent goal. It would have marked a record-breaking moment there. But unfortunately, it was marked as offside. But guys, what did you think about that strike? The fact that we missed and we hit the post a couple of times. Mason Greenwood again hit the post later on in the second half. As the match ended, nil-nil in the first half. We go on to the second half. Like I said before, we had plenty of chances. We created chances. We were dominating the match. Copenhagen as well had their opportunities. They did look like they could score, but they, they never did. They never had a shot on target. So the match ends nil-nil full time it goes into extra time and that's when man united turn up the gears finally some more chances are, are being created a couple of chances where rashford could have squared it in frustrated me as well rash three moments men like rashi stop it your rash moments are just consistent my boy you're my boy but continue continue to persevere persevere my boy because you will get there one day and you will be consistent we have to big it up to Martial. Martial. Creating so many opportunities, going through, gliding through defenders. One, two, oh, Martial was fantastic. He was magnificent. He got fouled, and then eventually it became a penalty. And then come to come step, Bruno Fernandes makes it one nil. Then we end the, the first half of the extra time, go straight into the second half, and then the match finishes one nil. Hey guys. Although we went through, there was a bit of frailties, but nevertheless, we just have to be happy about this. We go through. Well, guys, you let me know exactly what you thought the match was, how you thought it was, because I thought today it was tough, but at the end of the day, we made it through, even though we got, got a penalty and, we, and then we scored and won the match by a penalty. Still, we got our tough opposition, but we can be happy. We can take something from this and we can move on. And let's move on straight into my man of the match. My man of the match today, it got to be Anthony Martial. P wonderful performance he's had today. Just going through players. Just a burst of energy. It's kind of like Thierry Henry-esque, I've got to say. It's, it's definitely is that Thierry Henry kind of feel when he's on the ball. He's just charging at defenders. And oh, it must be a scary sight just seeing Anthony Martial just charging at you. But well, yeah, I have to give it to him. He was my man in the match. The reason why we conceded that penalty and scored. I mean, gained that penalty and scored. So he is my man in the match. And my donkey of the match today got to be my guy, Marcus Rashford. Today, you wasn't at your best today. But unfortunately, huh, it, just wasn't, it just wasn't with, it, 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 it just wasn't right. I'm not going to lie, guys. It just wasn't right with Marcus Rashford today. Too many opportunities and um, too much rash moments as always, man like Rashi. 
But yeah, we can. I'm just hoping that you just get it right the next game because court semi finals are coming up and we cannot make any more mistakes, Rashford. You just have to be consistent. I want to see some more goals. But then again, Rashford does come produce some assists. And let's move that straight up to the player rating, guys. In goal, we had Sergio Romero. Sergio did well today. He did his job. He kept us in the game. There's times he saved us. But apart from that, he did just so I'm gonna have to give him a seven. And at right back, Aaron Wan Bissaka. Spider One, magnificent today. Solid, solid, solid. That block that he did was amazing. I'm gonna have to give him a seven too. And we had Eric Bay. Eric Bay was good as well. Had some few important moments where he saved us. I can't lie to you. I'm gonna have to give him seven as well. And then we have Maguire. Maguire, my guy, Captain Harry Beckenbauer. Gonna have to give him a seven too. And Brandon Williams did well today. Good, 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 good performance. Didn't make too much mistakes. It was good at times going forward, but you can always improve in that. But I'm gonna have to give him a seven too. And with Fred, I thought Fred today was doing well. He done really well today. He was tenacious get, um, and making good interceptions, spraying good balls. Apart from that mistake, I thought Fred did well. So I'm gonna have to give him a seven too. And Paul Pogba had a good game today. Yes, so I'm going to have to give him a 7 as well. With Bruno Fernandes, although he scored the penalty, boy, he didn't have his best games. So I'm going to have to give him a 6.5 today. And with Mason Greenwood um, scoring that offside goal, hitting the post, he did well. I'm going to have to give him a 7 too. And with Marcus Rashford, Marcus Rashford, unfortunately, today, I'm going to have to give you a 6 it was at your best again. I'm hoping you'll get to your best, mate. And we have my guy, Anthony Martial, with a match scoring of eight. Absolutely important today in our win. Everything that he did was just pulled off. It's just unfortunate he couldn't get the goals. But apart from that, I'm going to have to give him an eight. And with Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, he's manager rating today. <sighs> I'm not quite sure what to give him because I... I, I, I there was just so many opportunities where I thought these are areas where Oli should be fixed, taught in his pattern of plays, where especially when we have the ball and I can see everyone's uh, on the forefront and you can see the fullbacks not making the runs and also the wingers as well not stretching the opp opponent and keeping himself wide. So there is opportunity for him to grow, but in this match today, I'm going to have to give him a, a six and a half, although he did well. At times, but just a six and a half because he never really managed the game. He could have managed the game, but he just decided to sit down. And guys, thank you for watching, guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, guys, we are through to the semi-finals. One more match and we are into the finals. Let's just hope that we play far much better than we did today and just start just start destroying teams. Stop absolutely pulverizing teams. It's about time we just turn up. Turn up to the next game, and we need this firepower to just turn up. We need that. We need that fire to just brighten up and light up. But we're hoping that that will happen in the next game. But yes, guys, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to Red United TV and follow the socials and follow Red United TV one on the Instagram. And remember, guys, to keep it united and keep it Red United. Peace out, guys.